in this uh, second video of corneal topography series we will discuss uh, keratometry as we know kerato means cornea and metry means measurement so measuring the power or curvature of the anterior surface of the cornea usually within 2 to 4 millimeter optical zone is called keratometry you can see different keratometers in the background now it is expressed in diopters or millimeters uh, instruments used to measure keratometry is called uh, or called keratometers or ophthalmometers keratometry is based uh, on the principle that anterior surface of the cornea acts as a convex mirror and the size of image formed varies with its curvature greater the curvature of the cornea lesser is the image size so from the size of the image the radius of the curvature of the cornea is calculated as you can see in the above picture now keratometers are based upon two concepts of doubling fixed object size with variable image size that is called variable doubling and that occurs in Bosch and Lomb keratometer that black color machine is Bosch and Lomb keratometer and now that is Javel Shorts keratometer you can see fixed image size with variable object size that is called fixed doubling and that occurs in Javel Shorts keratometer now doubling why doubling is required doubling is required to overcome the image movement formed over the cornea because of involuntarily eye movements doubling is achieved with prisms end point is reached when the two images are aligned together they are in focus in Bosch and Lomb like here we get readings of both meridians uh, whereas in javel shorts we have to obtain readings of both meridians separately we have manual keratometers like javel shorts and Bosch and Lomb and uh, as well as auto keratometers that are alone or incorporated in other topographic machines now if you learn how to use manual keratometers then you get more correct readings and nowadays auto keratometers um, uh, with latest technology are also extremely accurate in Bosch and Lomb systems you have to align circular mires with two plus and two minus signs uh, align mires superiorly as well as sidewise to get power of the cornea in two meridians without rotating the instrument if central image is doubled it shows instrument is not correctly focused on the central image of the mire so first focus the first central image and when the image is proper focused then then minus sign is aligned vertically you should align minus of the central image with the minus of the superior image and plus sign is aligned horizontally with plus sign of the central image with plus sign of the horizontal mire ensure that two circles in the middle are focused properly as well so you will get the correct reading of both meridians now comes to the javel shots keratometer mires are focused in the center of the patient's cornea you can see how patient view and how examiner view the steps and the rectangle now you rotate the dial of the keratometer and steps and rectangle they are brought closer they should be focused now in the above image you can clearly see that uh, the central line is not properly aligned so that will give you the false reading if the mires are not touching each other it will give you the false reading and if there is a space between the two mires rectangle and um, steps then again it will give you the false reading and now here in the bottom left image there is overlapping of the Myers, uh, so that will also again give you false reading so there should be no space there should be no overlapping and the line of both Myers uh, should be continuous to get correct readings now here uh, the line in the middle is aligned two Myers are just touched and not overlapping so that will give you correct reading take 
note down that reading and then move uh, the machine perpendicularly and again align the wires and take uh, the other axis reading as well so that's how you use javel shorts we will uh, state the uses of uh, keratometry Keratometry measures the corneal radius of curvature that is needed in the contact lens fittings. It also gives you the corneal, central corneal power, diopteric power. It measures the corneal astigmatism when there is a difference between horizontal and vertical axis reading. It also tells you the shape of the cornea in keratoconus and keratoglobus. It gives you the refractive error. It also uh, the most common use is in IOL power calculation. Uh, it also monitors uh, and also monitor pre and post uh, or post surgical astigmatism. Now, keratometry has got its limitations. It measures the refractive uh, state of the small central area, three to four uh, millimeter, and loses accuracy when measuring very flat or very steep cornea. Now, automated keratometer is easy to use, uh, time saving, uh, and uses infrared light uh, to illuminate the mires and detect uh, with photo detector. It is incorporated in IOL master, orb scan, pentacam scans, and auto refracto keratometers. As you can see, the Canon one. So that was all about the keratometry in second corneal topography series. Thank you.